TMTV come to rule. TMTV, you know we are murder. No! Be in the man said that. Aha, you're watching TMTV, keeping it jiggy. Hey man, it's ASAP Ferg, you're watching TMTV. Right? TMTV, Sweet Sweet Cockatee, and Dawson. And you're watching TMTV. You got it. Yes, sir. It's a TMTV. You know we go far away. Yo, this is the Queen of Dance Hall, you don't know it's all about TM. TV. If you know it's not Kratom, it's never TMTV. Kratom said that straight. It's your boy Carl Wolf and you're watching TMTV. What? Yeah, man. Big up TMTV out of Toronto, Canada. What up, though? This is Big Snoop Dogg and you're watching TMTV. Yeah, put up on TMTV. I saw it. TMTV. TMTV. Bad boy, thank for you, this TMTV bad boy man, around. I said them all can represent for TMTV. I mean, I say, yo. Hey, guys, Spice, represent for TMTV. Keep it locked. You're watching hey, guys, TMTV. TMTV. You're watching TMTV. TMTV, you understand? Love, Love and, war. and war, sacrifice, sacrifice and, hope. and hope. All traits embodied in this film, 76. It took seven years of production to make it to TIFF, and it's finally here. Sit back and relax as we speak to some of the cast members and director of the history which was made in Nigeria, 76. Shandam! 10,000 innocent public officials have been dismissed because they have no voice. We're soldiers. It's our duty to make sacrifices. How can you say we don't get the fuck is a girl when everybody is enjoying it? Yeah, well, a lot, a lot, honestly, because uh, for me, it's a career-defining moment. Uh, Toronto is a very big in, uh, film festival, and then if if they are, they're beaming your their satellite on your country, and your film is one of the films selected, you ought to be very happy. I am excited. Mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, could you give our audience some background on the info? You know, what led you to this film? Yeah, what led me to this film is a long story because uh, the different stages, you know, uh, when I was my first, uh, I have a relationship with this story. We started when I was three. Uh, the, the, I lived in a compound owned by the principal character in the actual 1976 school. So uh, I had a chance to see him, even though I didn't understand clearly what I was seeing. But then as time went on, I started asking questions and, uh, you know, the incessant military intervention in our politics in, 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 in the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, painted a, a, a very bleak image of the army. I, so I, I hated the army with, with passion. Uh, I see brutality each time. I see them oppressing the citizens each time. So I wasn't very happy. Unfortunately, or fortunately, in 1998, I was going on set with uh, 99. I think I was going on set uh, at a game reserve in the north of my country when I was involved in an accident with my crew. I got rescued by soldiers and taken to the barracks. And they left their rooms for us. They made us comfortable for two days. And it was like, wow, there's, there's something else. Some, there's, there's a disconnect because this is not what I know or what I feel about the army and it changed my you know perspective it changed my view of the army a little and what I saw it started sinking in and in 2004 I had another opportunity of doing something with the army about the exploits of Nigerian soldiers in Liberia and Sierra Leone uh, under a coma operation so I spent three months at the barracks and I heard stories that touched my heart. I saw people who lost people. I was able to interact with their families and I found out that it was really we should be celebrating their families because a dead man is gone and the people who are left behind to be a, well it's easier to say uh, you can tell your children down the line that their father died fighting a just cause but what would you tell them if their father was stripped of his rank, of his entitlement, of his uniform, and all his military exploits erased completely, and then executed publicly for trying to... So that's not 
what I think these women are cut out for. And so even if it was difficult handling uh, the death of their spouse when they are fighting, how difficult would it not be trying to deal with situations like the one in 1976. So my attention, my thought got stirred in that direction. And that's why uh, I made this movie as a social responsibility. You know, it's been promoted uh, from TIFF a lot that it took seven years to make the film. Yeah. Explain the process over the past seven years. Of yeah. Out. Okay, first, uh, my uh, younger brother was the uh, was a producer on the set and he passed on uh, during pre-production. So. That set us back for like a year, and then it took two years for the army to give us a nod, and eventually when we got the approval of the army, we realized that 90% of what we needed from the army were no longer in their inventory, so <laughs> that's another year, another two years gone, and uh, getting all these vintage props, uh, gathering, we have little respect for history in Africa, so some of these things were nowhere to be found, so it took us years gather them, to start sourcing them, and to actually be true to this story. So it's actually, uh, we make films through the skin of our eyes in Africa, so you don't want to tell a decent story, it's almost impossible to do. So that's why it took this time for budgetary reasons, at some points we ran out of budget, uh, we were stranded at some point, so it's not like we were shooting every day for seven years. We had our challenges that we had to deal with, but the, the most important thing is that we didn't give up. We didn't give up. Uh, my investors didn't give up. Uh, eventually, also the the the, uh, the government of the country introduced the Project Act, uh, like a grant that supported us to you know enable us finish the pictures. And you, know, and you know, being the director and the eyes behind the film, in your, your opinion, what was the hardest part of filming? The hardest part of filming was getting the actors to play parts that uh, they barely witnessed as as children trying to get someone to play uh, somebody in the 70s where you were barely, uh, you could actually remember nothing ever. So uh, putting together archival materials for them to at least have a peek into the lives of these guys then and try to reenact. It was a difficult task. Getting the actors to behave like soldiers on its own was a difficult task. So those were my basic challenges. And then, like I said earlier, access to archival materials were my biggest uh, uh, challenges making this film. And you know, the screening happened last night. A lot of people loved the film. Yeah. Uh, after everybody seen it, you finally got to see it for the final time. What do you think people could take away from this film? Yes, well, uh, first, it's, uh, it's a story about honor and integrity. Uh, it's uh, my favorite, is it Maricari's line? Is uh, I decided long ago never to walk in any man's shadow. If I fail or succeed, at least I live as I believe. So men must learn to stay true to their convictions and take responsibilities for their action. That's what I think the message of the film. And then beyond it all, I wanted a glimpse into our lives and the country in Africa, uh, what we've been through over the time to get to where we are now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So welcome to TMT. Pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what did it mean for you to be a part of this film, Seventy Six? Um, well, for me, um, I had never done a period film before, and this is a very significant um, part of our history. You know, so I just had to be a part of this very um, historical piece and doing that helped me during my research, helped me learn a lot of things, a lot of things about our culture, history, uh, what happened that year, Black Friday, like what they call, you know, it's called Black Friday. And um, yeah, because we weren't, we weren't taught a lot of this in school. You know, so that gave me an opportunity to really um, learn a lot about our history. So, yeah, I'm glad that I was a part of this film. Yeah. Yes, being a part of 76, for me, I always thought that um, part of the problems that we have in Nigeria and in Africa is because of uh, the issues from the past that we have not dealt with. You know, the stories that have not been told. And uh, 76 is one of those stories um, happening in a very contentious time in our history. And uh, if these things are not put out there for people to understand where we're coming from, we'll never be able to determine where we're going. 
and that's the importance of 76 for me and also the importance of a platform like uh, the city to city platform where we can now showcase these foundational stories to the rest of the world. So in the film, you'll see a bit of um, the assassination, the coup attempt, but it takes you through a journey. You know, you get a sense of, 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 of the life in the barracks. You get a sense of what the soldiers' wives had to go through. To a great extent, this movie was looking at the, 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 the role of the woman in, 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 in the home of the traditional military uh, family. Um, for me, this was my third time working with Izu. He's one of the few directors that I respect, have a lot of respect for in Nollywood. Um, he's what I call an actor's director. He's one of those few directors who push it, who bring it out of you, who will encourage you to dig deep and bring out those acting demons, you know, from within that you never knew you even had inside of you, you know. So, and then when I first got the script, I felt like if anybody could do justice to the story, it was Izojuku, you know. So I have a lot of respect for him, not just as a director, but as a human being. Yeah. Yes, when I got the script to um, be a part of 76, one of the things I wanted to know was who was producing and who was directing. Because having read a story like that, you know that this is a really deep and sensitive story that must be captured and told properly. Uh, so as soon as I heard that Izu was directing, I said, okay. I'm game because you can't go wrong with Izu, you know, as Rita said, he's an actor's director. He's a director's director. Yes. You know, he does this for the love of telling stories from his point of view, you know, so um, we couldn't go wrong. Izu is a great director. For me, I feel like uh, we've been working so hard in my industry and trying to grow it, you know, and uh, we're finally getting that glo global recognition that we deserve, you know, and um, I'm happy that we're able um, to showcase what we are about, to you know, to show our films on this very uh, great, huge fl uh, platform as Tiff, to show what Nollywood is about, um, and you know, just basically let the rest of the world um, know about Nollywood, uh, what we're about, and what we're capable of doing, and um, yeah, how. Um, how, yeah, that's just basically it, you know. So for me, I just feel like it's a great platform. We're getting that global recognition and, um, you know, the world can see what Nollywood is about and what we can even do. Uh, for, I'll always say that history is told uh, from the point of view of the storyteller, you know. So a lot of the stories about um, Nigeria and Africa that comes out is always told from a visitor's point of view. So it's about time that we started to tell our own stories properly. And then not only telling your stories, have the platform through which your story can reach all the nooks and crannies that you want it to go. So what TIFF has done and what the City to City platform has done is um, open that door. And that door means you can get recognition. Recognition comes financially, comes by way of uh, exposure, comes by way of uh, co-production treaties. So there's a whole world of opportunities that this opens up for us, and we're really um, great to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you. This show is sponsored by TMTV Media. Connect with us online. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash tmtvmedia. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash official tmtv. And stay in the loop with our latest events on Instagram at tmtvmedia. Ciao.